Hey guys, welcome to Stopbox. In this video, we are going to create a digital planner using Keynote. Open your Keynote and click File New. Pick the white template and click Choose. Select these two text boxes and press Delete. Go to Document and resize the slide. Go to Slide Size and click custom size. Put 866 and 596. I find that this size works well with my iPad Pro. Now click OK. Click Format and we'll change the background using Advanced Image Fill. Going to choose my background. Click Open. And I'm also going to remove the blue shade and choose black and white. I'm also going to edit the master slide. This way, every time I add a new slide, the background is already there. Now we can add the pages now. Click on shape and add the square shape. Put this in a corner, but add a little bit of padding on all the corners. Change the background to white. Actually, we can change it to something better. We'll pick this color swatch and we'll pick Mercury. Close this. Let's also add a drop shadow on this page. This way it creates an effect that it's floating. Now we're going to duplicate this page by pressing Command D on your keyboard. Then modify the width to 10 points less. And then center it in the page. Now let's add a line in the middle so it looks like a proper notebook. Click Shape and add a line. Put it vertically on the notebook and center it on the page. Now click Style and change the color to silver. Let's also add a drop shadow. This makes it look like the crease on the middle of the planner. The next thing we want to add are the monthly tabs on the side. So click Shape and select the rounder rectangle. Position it on the right side of the planner and readjust the size. We'll add 12 of these tabs. We'll put it all the way on the right side. Change the color to gray. And then we'll duplicate this tab by pressing Command D on your keyboard. Then drag one of them below it, duplicate it again. Keynote is helping us reposition this so they're equally distributed. Once you've added six tabs, I'm gonna select all six and then duplicate all six by pressing Command D on your keyboard. So it looks like we went over our planner. So what we're going to do is select all the tabs and then click Arrange and then group them. Now that they're one element, we can resize them so they're properly positioned. Once you're good with the size and position of the tab, click Ungroup. Now while all the tabs are still selected, let's click backwards and send it to the back of the page. Now we can add the text on the month. Click text and add January. Change the font size to 14 and change the font color to white. I'm going to rotate this text sideways. Click the arrange tab. And go to the rotate field and put 270. Now drag it to the tab and position it in the middle. 
and we're just going to duplicate these texts. I'm going to do 12 of these. I'll just keep duplicating January and then edit the text later. Just like the tabs, once I have six, I'm going to copy six of them and then duplicate and then distribute them evenly. Now we're ready to edit the text. I'm going to start the second one and put February. I'm just going to fast forward this. The next thing we want to do is group the month text with the tab. I'm just going to zoom in to 150 so we can see better. And I'm going to select the tab and the text. I'll click group and then send it backward. I'll do that to all 12 months. By the way, if you're liking this video, please don't forget to subscribe and click like. And if you have any questions so far, please leave it in the comment below or simply say hi. Now add another text. And we'll position it on the left side here. We're going to put January. Increase the font size to 58 and change the font type to Goody Old Style or whatever font you like. Now we're going to add some sections on this page. We'll click the shape. We'll position it over here. We'll add two of these. Similar to the tab, I'll duplicate this rectangle and then group them together and then resize them so they're evenly distributed. And when you're done, click ungroup. So now let's change the style and put no fill but add a border by clicking line. We'll use the square dotted and change the color similar to the background. Add another box on the left side. I'll duplicate this and then drag it over here. And now I'll add text as a description. I'll use this for goals. I'll change the font. Duplicate this text box, drag it to the right side, put this as notes, and then duplicate it again and we'll use this for to-do list. Adjust this a bit so it's in the middle of this box. So now let's add some blank slides. Add 11 of them. You can also select both of them and then duplicate them. Or you can select all five and then duplicate all five. Okay, how many do we have? We have 11, let's add one more. So now that we have those blank pages, we're ready to create links. Go back to the first slide. Now go to the first tab, right click on the tab, and then click add link, and then slide. Now we wanna reference the first slide because we're in January. Click out. Do the same thing for February, add link, slide, 
and we'll put slide 2 on this. Now do it for the rest of the months. I'm going to speed up this video. The next thing we need to do is copy all the elements here and paste it on all the slides. To do that, click and drag and select all the elements that's here. And then press Command C on your keyboard and then go to the next slide and press Command V. Paste that to all the slides. Now let's go back to the second slide and change this to February and change the rest of the months to its proper month. I'm just going to do a quick check on my tabs. Yep, still there. We are pretty much done. We can enhance this better by adding extra pages right after each month. So I'm going to add a slide here. And I'm going to copy the elements from the first page. And then paste it on this. But this time, I will remove some of the elements. Then I'm going to add a box for each day of the week. So first we add this. Going to readjust it. And then duplicate this box. I'll create four of these. And then group them together again. And then resize it so they're equally distributed. I'll do the same thing for the right side, but first I'll ungroup it, then duplicate these for the right side. I'll press Command D, drag it to the right, then select each rectangle, and then change the fill to no fill. Modify the border to dotted lines, there you go. So now the next thing we need to do is add descriptions for each box. We'll put Sunday to Friday. Select all the text and then duplicate it and then drag it to the right. Since we have an extra box, we'll change this to notes. The next thing I want to do is duplicate this page and put it after each month. I'm just going to duplicate a few and then drag it. I'm going to change my view to light table and then drag it on its new location. If you want to add three or four weeks after each month, you can do it as well. On my case, I just want to put one week after each month.
Now that we're done with that, let's go back to Navigator View. I'm just going to quickly check my tabs here. Okay, it looks okay so far. And we're done. Thanks for watching guys. Please leave a comment below if you have any questions. And if this helped you, please click like and subscribe.